Hi, it's Debbie Williams. I'm an NLP trainer and hypnotherapist. And today I want to talk about some strategies on how you can train your mind to be happier. Now, as Paul McKenna says, the trouble with happiness is that we don't practice it enough. And it's so true, because everything that we watch on TV is quite negative. The news, a lot of the, the soaps, it always has something that's dramatic in it to, you know, to hook us into it. Um, and we get more of the negative um, emotions played out on, on television than we do the positive ones, because we're drawn to them, unfortunately. And so we need to have some balance in our life. Now, if I help somebody to come out of a depression, the first thing I do is to get them to keep a happiness feel-good journal. And what this does, it's saying to the mind, you know, I want to look for what is working in my life and I want to record it because I want to bring more of the same. And so by starting a happiness journal, then you can add to this. And one of the things that you can do is set a goal for yourself to do some random acts of kindness. Because when you come from a good heart and you give from that place, it comes back to you and it comes back tenfold. Because it, it's what I believe that we're here to do. As my dad taught me that, you know, if you can't help somebody, don't hurt them. And if you make the decision to do something good, then you've got something that you can write in your success journal that, yeah, I did da 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 da, da and I know that that will help that person and I'm proud of me. And it's not for, you know, public recognition or anything like that. It's just for your own self-esteem. Because when you do the right thing, then things come back to you and make you feel proud of who you are. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about the happiness journal. Another thing that you can keep is a list as well of all the things that you do if you had the time. Now, I call this to begin with a board list. So... It starts with, yeah, you know, if I had the time, I'd phone blah, blah, blah. I'd clean that room out. I'd do that jigsaw. Or I'd uh, read that book. And then to make it a little bit more interesting, I like to get people to change it to a champagne list because then you can add all sorts of interesting things on there and all the things that you do that you'd like to do before you die, you know, maybe swim with the dolphins and, and things like that so that you've got something there that you can look at to focus, thinking, well, how on earth can I make this happen? And that's not to say that it's going to happen straight away or that it may never happen, but it's got a better chance of happening if it's written down and you're looking at it on a day-to-day -day basis to think, yeah, I really would like that. Or sometimes it helps you clarify, well, that's something I thought that I wanted and now I've had time to think about it. Mm. I'm not so motivated about it. So that, again, it helps process things in your mind that you're not hanging on to dreams that have you've perhaps outgrown. Okay, it's great talking to you today and I've got quite a lot more to say about this subject to help train your mind how to be happy.